What's up, everybody? Today, I am going to talk about something that's been becoming more and more prevalent on the streets of Baltimore, but all, not just Baltimore, but all over the country. And that is the drug xylazine. So this is on the streets known as Trank, and it has been uh, growing dramatically over the past several years. Um, the one, one of the things that sets this apart from a lot of the opioids, well, all opioids, is that it's not an opioid. Um, and because of that, naloxone is not effective in reversing an overdose. Now, it's still recommended that if you suspect somebody of overdosing, you should give them naloxone because frequently xylazine and opioids are mixed. So it will, the Narcan will have a positive effect on the opioid portion of it. But uh, I just was going to go ahead and read. This is a memo from the uh, state emergency medical services director. And basically he said, a very potent sedative medication called xylazine has been detected in the illicit drug supply in Maryland. Xylazine, also known as Trank, is a veterinary tranquilizer that produces serious and life-threatening effects in humans. Although it is not an opioid, xylazine has been added to fentanyl and heroin to extend the effects of these drugs. The prevalence of xylazine in the illicit drug supply has been increasing sharply over the past three years. It was implicated in 19.3% of overdose deaths in 2021, compared to just 4.3% of fatal overdoses in 2019. Xylazine can cause respiratory distress, hypotension, bradycardia, and meiosis. It can render a person unconscious for extended periods of time. Clearly, it can be very, very difficult to distinguish opioids, overdoses from xylazine exposure, as their effects are very similar. For xylazine and opioid overdoses, the first priority is to support the patient's ventilation. Of note, xylazine will not respond to naloxone because it is not an opioid. However, EMS clinicians should still continue to administer naloxone for suspected overdose patients because xylazine is frequently combined with opioids. Currently, there is no known reversal agent for xylazine that is safe or effective for humans. Xylazine exposure can also lead to severe necrotic skin ulcerations, which are difficult to treat. Withdrawal symptoms such as agitation and severe anxiety may also occur when the drug is discontinued. Commonly used medications for opioid withdrawal, such as methadone, are ineffective for xylazine withdrawal. So as you can see, it's, it's obviously a sketchy drug, and uh, just wanted to kind of bring some attention to it because it's obviously growing, and I mean, it's quadrupled going from 4% to 19% of the overdose deaths that it, that xylazine shows up in. So that's obviously a, a huge, huge gain in just a couple years. So unfortunately, it's probably given the trajectory, it would make sense that it would continue to increase. So just raising awareness about it and letting people know what's out there, encouraging people to not do drugs. And uh, if they do drugs, get the help they need to avoid it. I mean, really, when it comes down to it, that's the, one of the most dangerous parts of drugs on the street is not knowing exactly what you're getting. If you, ha if you think you're getting one thing and you're getting half that and half something else, then it can obviously lead to pretty severe problems, uh, most notably dying. So don't take drugs, get the help you need, and uh, yeah, that's all I got.